All right, let's go to the next verse, verse 7. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. A thousand will fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand. So what I said just now is this. The devil loves to do things like this, okay? He will point to you somebody who's smoking, who's 80 years old, and tell you, see, the guy is smoking like crazy. He doesn't have any problems. He's still alive. So it's okay to smoke. But what he doesn't show you are the millions that have died prematurely and in a suffering way, all right, most sufferingly as they die, all right, millions of them. He won't show you, all right? All these things, he will show people that he, he sort of like uh, put them up there and later on he will destroy them as well. Amen. The devil always put your eyes horizontally. Amen. By the same token, when a disaster happens, he goes the other way. He will say, if that happened to them, what makes you think you are special? If that happened to so-and-so, he's a Christian. You say you're a Christian, so what? That happened to him. The devil loves doing things like that. Do you know something? Can I say something to all of you? We don't know what so-and-so really believe. None of us do. In heaven, we'll ask him. If he's a believer, he's in heaven. He's, he, he, he's more alive than anyone in this, in this auditorium. Okay? But no one, not the devil, can speak for that person. So, but you can speak for yourself. And this is your promise from God. A thousand will fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near Amen. you. Amen. You better memorize this verse. So when a devil tells you, is he so-and-so, same age as you? Hey, same age as you, having this problem, healthier than you, but she dropped dead. What makes you think you, you are different? All you got to do is this. Don't even investigate the case. No one must, must touch other cases. All right? It is to God, but we judge ourselves. We say a thousand may fall at my side, ten thousand at my right hand, it will not come near me. Are you listening, people? Now, if something has come on you, perhaps there's someone here, you have received a, a very bad uh, diagnosis, an evil report, okay, in regarding your, your health. What do you do then? All right? What you do is this. The latest testimony from America, a lady from Illinois, and I just read this only yesterday. I became a believer. You see, we are having fresh testimonies every week. It's amazing. Every week. And, and, and today we have uh, uh, four or five testimonies that we have to put aside because of time. This lady from Illinois I said, I became a believer in 1998 and my life changed tremendously. But I felt that something was wrong because I was re repeatedly diagnosed with cancer, she said, beginning with breast cancer in 1998. In 2002, I had colon cancer. Even after surviving both attacks, I had relapses of breast cancer in 2020. Then in 2011, I watched Pastor Joseph Prince on television and ordered his materials. The first thing I remember learning was that all of my sins have been forgiven. That puts your spirit in a place of tranquility. You acquiesce in the forgiveness of sins. It has a profound effect, a health-giving effect on your body. Doctors will tell you stress can cause bigger problems. Because before that, I was taught of the need to repent and receive forgiveness from God whenever I sin. Right, she understands total forgiveness. Soon after, I became a partner with the ministry. I have all of Pastor Prince's teachings and meditate on them all the time. I've also bought Destined to Reign, Unmerited Favor, and his new book, The Power of Right Believing. Now my walk with the Lord is amazing. I no longer feel condemned or guilty, and I'm no longer walking in fear. I have a teaching called Condemnation Kills. All right, it does kill, okay? And she's no longer condemned. Watch what happened. I also have a revelation of Christ's love for me and I have an intimate relationship with Him. Think, someone who believes they are forgiven completely does not become licentious. They become intimate with Him. With God's help, my finances have also improved. I am now 56 years of age and I now have my first home. I'm also cancer-free. I am now cancer-free. 
free from cancer, have witnessed salvations in my family, and, and, and join better relationship with my family members, can't express in words how much Pastor Prince's ministry has blessed my life. It's forever changed. My eyes have been opened to God's grace, and I can never go back to my old beliefs and way of thinking. To God be the glory. Amen? So, even if you are diagnosed, okay, know this. You are not like the people of the world who are diagnosed with the same disease. All right? That means that disease has an expiry date. Came to the wrong body. <laughs> Amen? 